One, my accent is a chameleon, invisible in my hometown and fronteras like it, apparent elsewhere, varying from barely there to obviously different. My accent is a shapeshifter, intensity ever changing, adapting to my surroundings. Una noche hablando solo español carries over the next morning like a hangover. Similarly, phone calls to mis padres after a long day of English results in stuttering and stumbling over earlier conversations. Two languages fighting over the same tongue. Number two, my accent is 18 años de cruzando la frontera. Letting offense dictate your words and not letting offense dictate your words. Instead, speaking comfortably, letting a conversation flow como le da la chingada gana. Instead, los que entienden, good for you, y los que no, ni modo, así es. My accent is mine alone, it is beautiful, it is unique, it is Chicana, it is AP English in honors writing, para que no creas que un acento es sinónimo con la estupidez. Number three, my accent is Sonoran and Arizonan, baked together by the desert sun itself. Take fronterista and sprinkle a little bit of Tucsonian on top. Eso es mi acento hoy. Mañana será diferente. My accent is what happens when you break boundaries, when language norms are broken and then glued back together to form something new. Number four, my accent is not your spicy Latina fetish. It is spicy, yes, Latina sí, pero mis voz no son para su placer. And much like my voice, my words are on my own because, number five, my words are for midnight conversations con mis amigos. They are for poems about being queer, Chicana, and being very proud about that. They are for singing very loudly. Some nights it's trap music in my car, other nights it's cumbia at the antro, and other nights it's passion pit at home. I will sing, and I'll let my accent tell my story. Thank you.